All right, didn't notice this. Dang, how did I miss this? This is so funny when you buy stuff and you miss it. Check this out. It's actually broke right there in the handle. Hey y'all, if you're new to the channel, my name is Julian, also known as the Beard Thrift Machine here on YouTube, and I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos about it. Today is going to be a day in the life of me as a full-time eBay reseller. Uh, if you do like that type of content, go back and check out some of my older videos, and if you do like it, go ahead and subscribe, comment down below, and like the video that you're watching. So let's go ahead and get started with the day. It's going on 8 o'clock, actually 8.15, I got some stuff to pack. Things were uh, sold last night. It was a kind of a slow day all the way up until about 10.30 at night. And then I did get some sales and uh, I'll show you what I sold. So these right here are gonna be the things that sold last night. And we have some uh, vintage, these are Torx uh, screwdrivers from Craftsman, old, made in the United States. Here's a little coach purse. This is pretty neat. This is a... A uh, board game that I actually got for free and it's pretty nice. It comes in a, like a wood container and obviously Hard to open and these are all full of pieces with like little things this sold actually for $39 plus shipping and it's going overseas And then I did sell this really cool felt crushable hat. It is a Wrangler Right there and then it is a 20x So definitely pretty cool. I think this only sold for uh, I think $15 19 dollars so not too bad there i just sold a golf club and the golf club is going to be a tommy arnold nine and it's a the a custom skew on it is 12 29k now i have redone my entire like golf club thing and moved everything around because i used to have bag numbers well all those bag numbers don't make any sense anymore so i gotta usually come out here and search for this thing and remember exactly what it is or doors locked all right, it's cold outside today. See if we can find this thing in a timely fashion. So here's all the golf clubs. You kinda just gotta go through them and start looking. All right, so I just did find it. It was actually directly in front of me right here. But like I said, this is why you do custom SKUs is because this one looks just like the one I just picked up, but this one is a uh, oversized plus. That one was a Silver Scott. But still, you wanna go ahead and I like custom skew on my golf clubs just because I have so many of them and it would be like, it'd be hard not to do it because I know exactly like this is the correct club. So I need to go ahead and get this stuff packed and then head to the post office. And today I'm gonna go through a couple thrift stores. So I got everything uh, packed up, gonna head to the post office. First gonna head to the little landfill, little dump around my house because I got all that trash out of my storage unit yesterday, cleaned out one, got the new one and uh, I need to get this stuff out of here. This stuff's been sitting, it's non-listed items. They're not worth anything. Uh, I was supposed to have a yard sale last year, but that's when like COVID was big and I just didn't do it. And um, I mean, I could keep this for yard sale stuff, but there's just not enough. It's just like two bins of things. So I'm gonna go throw that stuff away. Can't even really like, re-donate, it's just not good stuff. Like they're, I'm sure if I donated it to Goodwill, they would probably just throw it away. All right, went to the uh, dump, everything's good to go. There's a couple things in life that I love. One is a clean truck bed. Love having nothing in the back of the truck. Like once I do work, there's stuff back there, gotta clean it out. Two, full tank of gas. Love full tank of gas. Three, when you're like at the last part of the paper towel, like in the kitchen, you know, you're like, you're like oh, I'm out of paper towels. And you go to the pantry and you have another extra paper towels. These are the little things in life that I just love. All right, so that was my third thrift store and I haven't really been filming in any thrift stores because there's nothing to film. Like that, I think, I don't know. They're all kind of empty. It's been pretty terrible. But I'll show you what I got so far. The one stuff, the, the one thrift store I did get stuff in, I usually don't film in there just because they don't have like uh, carts or buggies. So you have to carry everything. And I did get a, not a whole set, but some clubs. And they are the US Kids and they're the W15, WT15s. And I'm a big fan of these uh, kids clubs. They sell really well. And these are in decent condition. As you can tell, it's pretty shiny. And I did get like a six iron, a eight iron, a nine iron, like a fairway. And then the putter is pretty destroyed though. So I don't know about that. That's actual corrosion on there. That's not, um, that's like something that won't be able to get cleaned off. But other than that, it's in decent condition. It won't break or anything, it just looks bad. 
Uh, but these kids clubs sell for me really good and I got the bag and I got all that for only $8. So they definitely, people undervalue these kids clubs and a lot of people that are out there, uh, you know, picking clubs and to sell online, they, they leave behind the kids clubs because there was a guy in front of me that was in there. He picked up a couple clubs or whatever and then he left those and I was like, dude, there's, um, they usually go for $15 a piece. So one will cover the entire cost and the bag's not bad. It's got a little stain on it right there. But I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get that and then like I went to two more thrift stores, absolutely nothing. And then I did just pick up at this thrift store a Titleist uh, SM5 Valkyrie Wedge. Now it's in pretty rough condition. As you can see right there, there's some ball wear and stuff and it's uh, you know, not in that great condition, but this will all clean up and it'll look brand new after I'm done with it. So we're gonna go to one more thrift store, but uh, I don't have any high hopes. I mean, it's been pretty terrible. So uh, we'll go from there, but not so far, not a bad day, maybe a hundred dollars made, but I'm gonna need a little bit more than that. All right, so I didn't take the GoPro in on this one just because I usually never find something here. It hasn't been a good day of thrifting. So usually when I have a bad day, it just continues on. Like I don't find anything that day. So I was like, ah, but I did find stuff. So I'm gonna show you now. I, everything I'm gonna about ready to show you did cost me $21. Right here are some Warrior Golf Woods. I have a whole set three, five, and seven. And they're in pretty rough condition right here with that. And I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get all this off. And I might actually do it on film today and show you the difference between, uh, you know, the rust and then what you can do to, to actually get that off of there because they're not cracked or dented or anything. So it's just a little bit of rust, which to me, that's not that big of a deal. And then I did pick up an Odyssey putter this one right here these aren't worth like a whole bunch of money but the, this should cover the cost of everything that i just bought and then go from there all right didn't notice this dang how did i miss this this is so funny when you buy stuff and you miss it check this out it's actually broke right there in the handle yeah that that's a uh, golfing 101 go ahead and you know make sure that's not broke okay that means that we will be taking this head off of this shaft today so not a big deal i still will be able to probably sell that for like 10 bucks i did pick up a kids tailor-made burner and these do actually sell pretty good i've sold one of these before i think for like 15 20 bucks and i did pick up this wilson augusta putter and i picked this up because i did look at some soul comps and they were pretty decent and the uh the grip is original and it's in pretty good condition actually so i did pick that one up maybe 20 bucks and this one i just picked it up just because it was a ray cook i know the ray cooks don't go for a ton of money or the, some of them don't uh but, and it's got a cracked handle but i'm thinking maybe 10 to 15 bucks on that one uh plus shipping so we'll go from there that wasn't horrible uh, i really wish i saw that that odyssey putter that, that's why it was probably sitting there is because they're they're pretty everything is in rough condition but i can fix them so we'll uh we'll go grab some lunch and then head back and i'll probably clean those golf clubs on film just so i can show you all how i do it and uh we'll see i cannot believe that handle's broken all right so i finally got home and i'm gonna clean some of these golf clubs i already kind of have everything set up the way i want to get my golf clubs over there and i got like this one right here we're going to work on so I'm gonna real quick show you exactly how i'm going to clean this and as you can see it definitely has some rust and everything in there and it does look pretty nasty and even in here, it's got tons of rust. And on top, it just has some scuff. Actually, on the top looks really nice, but it's not. It's got some scuff marks. So we're gonna um, go ahead and clean this. And the brushes that I'm gonna use, now if this, this is a stainless steel brush. And if you were to use this like on this green part, it would definitely mess that up. I'm gonna use something that's a lot softer. This is a brass brush. And it should work on this chrome a lot better to where it doesn't mess it up. And then on the face of the club, I'll probably use this, this stainless steel one. So let's get to work. I'm gonna set the camera up so hopefully it will be able to see it. And all I'm using again is this like REM oil stuff. And I know like you can use a vapor rust on this, but I really think the oil and you know, spray a little bit on there. And then I just take this little brass brush and all it is is just a whole bunch. I'm gonna stay off that green part just because I really think it would mess it up if I didn't. Like I said, I think that these are gonna go for probably maybe 40 bucks for the set. And I only paid 21 for everything. So I'll definitely make some money here. And then just take this cloth. And then right there, you can see it's definitely starting to take shape into a better looking 
club. I use the oil also for like cleanly, but also for when you're doing this, it doesn't really scratch it that, that bad. And, and on the bottom of the club, you have to understand that there is always going to be wear on the bottom unless it's brand new. So people aren't really concerned about small scratches on the bottom, like in the chrome part. Now, if you scratched all that up, you know, people might have a problem with that. That's why I don't do it on the green part. All you do is, there you go, that fast, it looks a lot better. That's definitely sellable. And then on the face of the club, what I'm gonna do is definitely use a tougher brush because the face can be scratched up. This is, the faces are usually like the toughest part. They don't have any type of coating on them. So we're gonna use the stainless steel brush. And just wipe it off. And there you go. Boom, nice and shiny. And then the top is really not that big of a deal. I just spray usually like one little bit on there and take a nylon brush. Nothing that can mess up the the uh, finish on the on the front or on the top because you don't want to mess that up. If you were to scratch that up, because you can tell that's like super shiny. If you were to scratch that all up, then it would definitely uh, take down the, the cost of the club or the, the retail value of it for sure. But all you do is just put a little oil on it and then that thing like shines like crazy. This is a graphite shaft. I just wipe the graphite shaft down with oil to make it shine a little bit better. And then even the, uh, the, these have real nice grip, so I'm just gonna wipe the grip down. And there you have it, and so. So it was about less than a minute to clean the club, so it's definitely worth cleaning them. I would not throw these up there uh, without being clean, because I mean, if you were to put that up there at seven wood, I mean, it looks destroyed. Now, somebody knows that they could clean it, but why not take a minute to clean these clubs and get a lot more money for them? In a second, what I'll do is I've already showed how to remove the head of the club. The putter is gonna be a little bit different than that. Uh, I think I did an iron before, so I might actually just film that too on how I'm gonna do that because I think that shaft is going into the iron. I had trouble removing iron head, uh, putter heads before. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that, and then, but I'm gonna clean the rest of these clubs. All right, so we're gonna go over taking the head off of this putter right here. And I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I would not have picked this up if I would have known that this is broken like this. I mean, that's just... I don't know what I was looking at. Now, let's rip that thing open. That thing is like bent. It's almost like it's been smashed. Yeah, 100% smashed and then broke. That, that takes a lot of force to do that to, to that. But uh, is what it is. You know, I bought it, so I don't want to ruin. You know, it was only three bucks, but I think that I can take this off and then I can probably sell the head for, you know, get my money back at least so let's go ahead and get started i did take a head off of a club i think it was a iron and when you do that you like heat this up and the shaft is inside of here so the shaft just pulls out see how this one the head is actually inside the shaft so this might be a little bit more difficult i can't remember if i've ever taken off a head to a club that's a putter so let's grab the torch real quick and uh, we're gonna heat this thing up probably pretty hot. With steel, you really can't overheat it. Like if it was graphite, you could definitely overheat it. But what's gonna happen is it's gonna go ahead and melt the adhesive inside of here. And also when you heat metal, it expands. So it's also gonna expand out a little bit. It's getting pretty hot because it's already changing colors. All right, that was uh, relatively easy. That stuff stinks. So right there, obviously don't touch that, it's super hot. And I'll clean this up with a wire brush real quick. Let's take a wire brush here and just go ahead and Kind of take that char off because that's a just burn into it. It didn't hurt the metal or anything. And then this can be sold on eBay just for the head. And you don't ruin, you know, like uh, I'm watching myself right there. But uh, so there you go. So now you don't have to, you know, if you do mess up or something like that and you got a torch laying around and a vise 
or whatever, you can definitely take these off. And this will sell online. I don't know how much for much, to be quite honest with you. I mean, it's in really good shape itself. Uh, the bottom looks good, and the Odyssey back there is pretty clean. I cleaned it up, so no, nothing like that. And, you know, somebody might buy it for like 10, 15 bucks, but, you know, better than getting it home, realizing that you made a mistake, and then just throwing the whole club away. And then just, uh, I recycle all the metal at my local recycling bin. But remember that this is like super hot, so you definitely uh, don't want to touch that with your bare hand. All right, so it's going on four o'clock, done listing. This is what I listed today. I only listed nine i listed nine items for 212 dollars and that was all the golf clubs uh, i did actually keep a couple golf clubs that i'll do tomorrow because i got to clean them a little bit better this one right here this one and then the golf bag over there i'll do i'm just going to do that locally because it turns out that that's uh not really that valuable online goes for like 30 bucks and i'd rather just sell it locally for 10 just to get it out of here and then this one right there i'm going to actually try to sell online or maybe locally these are actually really nice. I mean, it's a nice kid set of RAM, but they don't have a whole bunch of value, but it's, it's in such good condition. Bag and everything is like brand new. So I'm gonna also list that locally. And I have a uh, two little video game things I wanna do tomorrow. Hopefully there's an auction tomorrow night and I like to get some stuff out of that. There are some tools going up for sale in the auction and there are and they're lots of tools. And a lot of people don't wanna deal with like hundreds and hundreds of sockets and wrenches. So I'm one of those people that do. So hopefully I can get some good deals. So I appreciate y'all watching. Hopefully it's been entertaining and some sort of education into the life of a full-time eBay reseller. So I really do appreciate y'all watching. You know, I always catch you on the next one.